What kind of parrot should you get as a companion for your parrot? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Plus Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon so that you know how to give your parrot a nice, healthy, balanced diet, um, the very many benefits of pellets, how to give them a good cage setup, and all that other good stuff so that you can have the most blissful bond with them possible. Now, as you probably know, I always say that you can have two parrots and they will still love you. Now, in my case, Macy, my Kate, uh, she loves me and she's not terribly fond of Quantum right there, who is going to be her mate. However, they are getting closer. I think that Capes just aren't terribly cuddly birds. She's cuddly with me, but when it comes to all of my parrots, my baby, you're such a good girl. <laughs> um, you know, they, parrots are, are wonderful. They're social. They do find someone to make friends with. However, <clears throat> it's amazing to me how the level of friendship really changes and improves when there's another one of the same species. So my two examples of that are my Catalina Macaw, when it was just her, she was really bonding to me and I didn't like that because I wanted her to really be able to relate as a parrot to a parrot and not just to me. You wanna go there? There you go. Oh my goodness, Lorenzo, what are you doing down there? Um, and so we got a Harlequin Macaw to keep our hands Macaw company. And they love each other. They both still, they love being with us. They relate to us. You could see, this is what I was talking about. Macy just likes to cuddle with me and she just likes to get her scritches. Um, but <clears throat> my macaws relate to each other in ways that they don't relate to any other parrot and they don't relate to us. They, they pet each other, they groom each other. They just, you know, they speak their own macaw language. And I mean that probably literally, but metaphorically in the sense that they really connect and bond at a different level since they are both macaws. I was really surprised to find that the same was true with my golden conure. I got a young golden conure, Binks. He is four months now. And um, my yellow yellow winged Amazon took to banks like, I don't know, like fish take to water kind of thing. Uh, they, the yellow named Amazon is just crazy. Tico, he's just crazy about binks and Tico has not bonded with anyone else. No one, no other Amazons. Not that I have another yellow named Amazon. Um, no human, no nothing, just binks. He, he's, We've had Tico for several years and he's never come to life the way he did when he discovered Binks. When he discovered Binks, he was, he literally was said, hi, hi, hi. It's like he was so excited. He knew obviously what hi was and he was greeting Binks and just wanted to connect with and bond with Binks. When I brought the rescue Golden Conyer home, who was older, um, he and Binks, they just melted into each other. So even though Tico loves Binks, and Binks likes Tico, or maybe loves him, but it was different when I had two Goldens together. Unfortunately, my second Golden passed away. He was a rescue. I got him because I wanted to take him out of the situation he was in because it, it just, he looked like he was going crazy. He looked like he wasn't doing well. And so for a month, he was here with us. He went to the vet. The vet tried. Um, you know, he did have a respiratory infection, and the vet got rid of that. But then, you know, I think he was older, and so he had kidney and liver issues, and he just didn't make it. But I was really happy that at least his last month, he was really loved. He was loved. His last day, Binks was loving on him. And he, he loved Binks. They, they just really, really bonded. So I am, uh, for me personally, in my flock, I really do like having two of each species so that they can bond. I do have a couple exceptions, like um, T. 
Tico because I have another Amazon. But um, generally speaking, you know, if I had Hans McCall and I was, I do, she was a rescue. And so that's why she doesn't have a maid. But um, if I was going to get a second parrot, I would definitely want to get a, another Hans McCaw. Um, your Hans McCaw will relate with another Hans McCaw very differently. Uh, and I do feel like African greys are very aloof. And Hans McCaws, in my experience, mine is very bonded. Oh, she wants to go there. And what are you doing? Oh, you're, you're eating, you're uh -huh. stealing their food? Uh-huh. Yeah? You, yeah, uh-huh. She went down into their cage and is taking their food. So, um, I just feel like, you know, if you really wanted to, you could always get three, a, a total of three parrots, get a hands macaw for your hands macaw, and then an African gray if you want an African gray. If, in my experience, if you spend time with your parrots, even though you have two parrots, they will totally still love you. They will totally still bond with you. Um, you know, and if you don't spend time with them, they might as well have each other. So, uh, it, if that's what I would do, if it were yeah, um, my flock, I would definitely get a hands. They they just melt into each other. It's, it's like the sweetest thing, and it's fantastic. Now, on the rare occasion, they won't get along, and that happens. But chances are pretty good that they'll really get along and bond, and you'll have a happy couple kind of thing. Whether they're both male or female, you know, that it doesn't matter. Unless you do or don't want babies, then that would matter. All right, thanks for joining me in this quick late night video. Uh, I hope you are having a wonderful holiday. Uh, I'm happy because actually these two get along more and more lately. They sleep near each other and I mean, you can see they're, they're ready for me to turn the lights out. And so this, they have a cage, which Lorenzo went into, uh, but this is where they like to sleep. I have an open door policy and they really <laughs> use that policy. They're, as far as they're concerned, the open door policy is down to their food and water, should they want to go down and get food and water. All right, have a wonderful night, and we'll catch you next time. If you have a question about parrots, please post down below, or join our Facebook group at Parrot, or on Facebook at Parrot Bliss Flock, where you can ask questions and join the flock. See you next time.